Welcome back to the Morning Show at 741. President Obama's gun control measure to reduce gun control violence will lead to a robust debate on the floor of the Congress. But does it have a chance to pass the House? Joining us for a conversation about that and much more, Nikki Song is Congresswoman representing the 3rd District here in Massachusetts. Thanks for being here. Happy to be here. It's not for lack of a better phrase, excuse me, dead on arrival. It could, something could happen, but it would take a lot of collaboration to, to, for something to move forward to the House. It will, it will. But I think the tragedy of Newtown really has been a, a very pivotal event uh, and has forced a lot of rethinking. I have a Congress on your corner periodically where I go to a community and I let the community know I'm going to be there and did one in Fitchburg a week ago and I had a general and it allows individuals to come one by one to come talk with me and I had an individual come in he wanted to know my position on gun control he was a responsible gun owner had been so for many many years and I think concerned somewhat that all the discussion around it important discussion uh, was you know characterizing him in a way that he was not comfortable or felt that it had the potential to but I asked him so what do you think you know as somebody who has been so ardently against any legislative effort to change the laws and he said you know Newtown has forced me to rethink it and I think that's true for many of my colleagues on both sides of the aisle who heretofore have not been willing to really um, move any legislation that changed our gun laws our, our, our gun safety laws that conversation will be as we said very robust on the house something that, that perhaps isn't getting nearly as much attention and that is the issue of sexual assault in the military. I know that that's something that, that is that important to you and you're speaking out about that in, in the part of a, a new movie that's been nominated for an Oscar. Yes, The Invisible War. It's been a very important movie that has drawn uh, very well, much needed attention to the issue. It's something I became aware of as a newly elected member of Congress found that one out of three uh, female veterans reported having been the victim of some form of military sexual trauma. It's a broad term. It encompasses a lot of unfortunate behavior from, uh, and, but nevertheless, a real issue. Met a nurse who said she was more afraid of our own soldiers than she was of the enemy as she served in Afghanistan and Iraq because of the constant threat of sexual assault. That movie has helped really draw attention to it and we've had great bipartisan legislative success working together to uh, put a lot more tools in the toolbox so that the military will begin to address this more robustly and, and have real uh, change the culture. We have got to change the culture of the military around this. Make progress there. We'll make progress across society. That would be really important. A quick final question, if you don't mind, the, the debt ceiling. It, it, a lot of people just kind of go, oh, I, I can't, can't even begin to understand it. But a lot are saying this has to be dealt with. Do you think that there's potential for there to be, again, more collaboration between both sides of the aisle? Well, I think we all, what we have to remember is the debt ceiling is to recognize and to pay for commitments we have already made. It doesn't lead to additional future spending. It's to say when we pass these budgets, we committed to raising the dollars um, by borrowing that we didn't bring in through revenue. And so I think there's a much better understanding across the uh, country around the implications of not raising it uh, most immediately would probably uh, lead to a downgrade in our credit rating, leads to higher borrowing costs, and will hurt all of us. So I think, um, you know, there's some educating still to be done across the aisle so, so, uh, to understand what's at stake here. So just a yes, no to, to end. Do you have hope that Speaker Boehner will be able to rally his forces to get some sort of consensus among themselves? Well, when you have uh, Newt Gingrich saying that's not the place to have the fight, we know we've got to address spending. We've also got to do it in a way that's balanced, that puts revenue on the table, as well as future cuts. But when you have Newt Gingrich saying that's not where you have the fight, there are other places to have it, uh, I think that reflects you know, that there might be some possibility that this will not be where um, the future future fights take place. I will consider that a strong maybe. Okay, that's Nikki, something. Thank Thanks for being with us on the yeah. morning show. Look forward to your next visit. Thank you. Now,